Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, coming to you here from Vancouver, British Columbia. We publish uh, wholesaler FOB sawmill softwood lumber and panel prices every Friday, uh, weekly since 1952. And today I'm going to talk about uh, the latest U.S. housing uh, starts and uh, home sales data and put that against my lumber prices to demonstrate um, the foreshadowing that uh, lumber sales and prices can do for um, housing. Since the uh, price data that we do here at Madison's comes out every week for that week, but the housing uh, construction and home selling data comes out once a month for the previous month. So essentially there's a six week lag between what is happening right now in the market and when the data um, is released by the uh, US Census and the Department of HUD um, showing you what's going on with housing. And so for June, uh, as you know, everyone's probably seen by now, the um, housing starts month over month uh, and year over year, we're down. The month over month, you know, that uh, uh, those numbers are quite volatile. I like to use year over year because you're comparing, you know, the same sort of part of the season, the construction activity, um, apples to apples. Uh, and also sort of like that uh, short-term volatility gets worked out. And we know what happened last year. We're, we're well aware of what happened in June last year and that can inform given what happens with the data for june of this year um, what uh, we can expect and where the situation is and so the uh, month over month data of course for uh, new housing construction dropped uh, for the past couple of months uh, people are putting that on to the mortgage rate increases probably true um, but it also may be that the momentum of this of the um, new housing after two years of quite a run-up is starting to slow down, you know, naturally without the mortgage rates. Um, and uh, sort of flat compared to one year ago, a little bit down, very small amount down. But year to date, 2022 is up compared to year to date, 2021. So the first six months of housing construction in the U.S. is more than it was last year. So that's why I look at the data a little bit differently than other people, uh, just sort of like see the monthly and make an estimation of, oh no, it's a bubble, bubble burst or whatever. It's not that simple and it's not a bubble anyway, it's, it's not a bubble. So, and then in terms of the home sales and the house prices also uh, slightly down, um, the historical data uh, where we are, where we were last year and where we are this year uh, is very robust. It's, it's still good. There's definitely no crash. I know that like regionally people see uh, changes in their own market, but when you look at um, the combined data for the entire country, uh, it's still uh, going along, um, you know, not too bad. So let's look at the graphs right now. It explains, you know, really well what I'm saying here. And then I'll come back with a little bit more detail uh, of some of these things that I'm talking about. And so here we have the, uh, my lumber prices against the housing starts. The three colored lines are those three benchmark two by four items I talk about all the time, Western Spruce, Eastern Spruce, and Southern Pine. The black line is total housing starts and the gray line is a uh, single family or one unit starts which interests us the most because that is the largest uh, segment of home building and which uses the most wood. So by those three colored lines you can see that volatility uh, especially sort of in the uh, second quarter of last year 2021 and you can see how the housing line although of course not with that much volatility follows the trend of my lumber prices. Further over to the right, uh, getting into our current time, you can see how those lumber prices dropped and are flattening out, and the housing starts data followed along with it quite closely. And here we have that benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4 price, which was in that graph you were just looking at. This shows the year-over-year -year, uh, changes the blue line is 2020 and the pink line is 2021. Uh, and so as I was saying that um, second quarter of 2021, that huge run up in the price, then a big, big correction down 
probably too far down. And then now this year, 2022, the yellow line, it's following quite closely to uh, how last year went, except for it happened earlier in the year and the price didn't go up by as high and it didn't correct down by as high. So where we are right now at the very end of July, uh, those prices are flat uh, for two weeks. US $684 per thousand board feet on that Western Spruce 2x4. Potentially gonna fall back down as this year goes on, but not by as much as it did um, over those past couple of years. And then here we have, again, those very same three lumber prices, the colored lines and the uh, new home sales. In the US, the black line really following on the lumber price uh, over there in 2020, almost exactly the same trend. But as I was saying, my lumber prices come out each week for that week, while the uh, home sales data, you have to wait about six weeks for that um, government to release that information. And so once again, here we have uh, toward the far right of this graph, the uh, home sales almost exactly following my lumber prices. So the advantage to subscribing to my dashboard where you can see the data come out for the lumber prices every week for that week, it will tell you quite clearly what is gonna be happening over time with the housing starts and home sales. Okay, so doesn't that give you quite a picture? Uh, you know, we are sort of in the halfway mark of the year and uh, as autumn comes on and definitely winter, usually things really slow down. But as I've been saying, especially for the past couple of years, uh, the seasonality of um, home construction and home selling as well as lumber manufacturing and prices what we normally used to be able to say you know november is very slow and starts to pick up maybe in february uh hasn't really been the case seasonality doesn't really seem to uh, be as you know normal as what we uh previously have been used to i would expect that part of the reason for that apart from like the weather is um all of these uh extreme emergencies that uh keep coming up between the flooding and the fires, uh, you know, when uh, there's a big tornado that comes through an area that doesn't normally see that kind of weather and everybody needs to re-roof or there's a whole bunch of new building going on, uh, even if it's at a strange time of year, that's going to put um, an increase in lumber sales. For example, in the middle of winter, deep freeze, I think it was February, Colorado had some really epic forest fires. I don't think I've ever seen that before in the middle of winter like that. Um, huge fires, two different regions of Colorado, people lost their homes and it was extremely devastating. What in February? Like, I don't even know, right? So uh, this data that I just showed you for the housing, a couple of really important things, apart from what I said that the um, construction activity for the first six months of this year is higher than it was for the first six months last year. Uh, the same is true of the, um, home selling and the house prices. So like I said, you know, month over month doesn't really tell you anything, but compared to one year ago, uh, house prices are higher now than they were this time of last year. Um, the very, very important uh, data that again, a lot of people don't really look at is the backlog, is a backlog of homes uh, on the market not yet sold and the number of homes under construction not completed. Both of these break all of the historical records, like going back to 1973. So some people now, like I said, you know, the um, new construction is starting to drop. Some people now are saying, watch out. Some of those homes under construction might not go on the market, right? So we'll have to see. We'll need to see uh, going forward as the data comes out, it's going to tell us what's happening right now. I can tell you right now with my lumber prices that there is a slowdown, but that's normal for the time of year. Are we in a normal year? We haven't been in a normal year for the past two years. So are we returning to some kind of semblance of normal seasonality? It doesn't look like it this year yet, but that doesn't mean that it won't start coming on. A lot of people are predicting for the beginning of 2023 that we will start seeing a little bit more sort of uh, traditional uh, cycle and normalcy. And so the 
the thing that's important at the beginning of this video, I said it's not a bubble. There's one element of the home selling that does fit into the description of what is a bubble, into the definition, and that is investor buying. So I was telling you in previous videos, the ratio of investors in new home buying at the end in fourth quarter of 2021 was uh, one fifth and at the first quarter of 2022 was 30%. And then that has increased even more now. And so, you know, part of the reason for that is that investors, they don't, they're not as impacted by mortgage rates because the lending is different. But that is something that was part of the reason for the housing crash of 2006, was people buying multiple homes, uh, companies, uh, I won't say any names, but we all know who they are, buying vast amount of homes, inflating the price, you know, getting trying to get into that uh, before not want to be the one holding the bag when the bubble burst, which uh, messed up everybody. As I said, for 10 years, the U.S. housing market was depressed and the uh, construction activity uh, was lower than the uh, demographic. The uh, new home building from 2000 and seven to 2017 uh, did not meet the increase in the population and the age of um, people coming on to age for to become first time home buyer. Uh, so I'll leave it there for now. Subscribe here on YouTube if you'd like to be alerted when I make a new update. Click like so that it gets recommended to other viewers. And if you really want to see more uh, than these two little tiny uh, uh, images that I show you of my lumber prices, the entire dashboard has, like I said, all 500. Go onto my website, the link is here in the caption at the top of the uh, menu, uh, subscribe, uh, fill out a form, and we will send you the sample of all of those uh, 500 lumber and panel prices, uh, commodities with the prices for the current week, as well as the market commentary explaining what is happening with the market right now, and then that way, Anyone who subscribes, my customers, to my dashboard, they see the prices when they come out uh, Thursday evening. So when they get to work on Friday morning, they're there, boom. They don't need to wait uh, weeks or a month for me to have time to make a YouTube. Uh, I also delay what we post on the website by a couple of weeks. Gives the subscribers to my products the advantage of being able to see uh, the full scope of the data, all of the market commentary information right away as soon as it comes out.